You're not depressed. You're just distracted. Distracted from life itself. You got a heart, mind, and spirit. Therefore, how can you feel sad and unhappy? Distracted from life around you. Dolphins, forest, sea, mountains, rivers. Do not fall into what your brother felt. He suffers for one human being. When we have more than six billions around. Besides, it is not so bad to live alone. I hope I have a good time on my own, deciding every moment what to do. And thanks to that loneliness, I know something fundamental to live. Do not fall into what your father fell. He feels old because he's 70 years old. Forgetting that Moses drove the Exodus at 80, and Rubus saying interpreted like nobody else did Chopin when he was 90. Only to mention two known cases. You're not depressed, you're just distracted. That is the reason why you think you lost something, which is impossible. Because everything was given to you. You didn't do a single hair in your head. For you cannot own anything. Plus life doesn't take from you. It frees you from things. It helps you to fly higher, to reach the immensity. From birth to death is a school. And what so-called problems are lessons. And life is dynamic. It's constantly moving. Changing. That is the reason why you should honor the present moment. My mother used to say, I'm in charge of the present moment. God will take care of the future. That is why Jesus said, Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. So if it's until today, it's its own trouble. You did not lose anybody. The one who died just went ahead of us, because we're all going there. Plus, the best thing from that person, is, which is uh, love, will remain in your heart. Who can say God is dead? There is no death. There is change, this movement. And there are wonderful people on the other side, like Gandhi, Michelangelo, St. Augustine, Mother Teresa, your grandfather, and my mother. My mom used to think that enjoying with less is better to get you closer to love because having a lot distracts us with everything and give us away and makes us suspicious and not being able to trust anybody can't find happiness it's so simple listen to your heart before your head goes in the way the head is conditioned by the mind memories complicating everything with old stuff, past, prejudgment that keeps you sick and chain, dividing and lack in the head, the head that doesn't accept that life is the way it is and know how it should be. Do what you love and you will be happy. Be the one who does what loves. And if you do that, you will be blessedly condemned to success. That will come when it must come, and it will come naturally. Do not do anything out of obligation of commitment, but out of love. Then, there will be fullness. And in that fullness, everything is possible and effortless. Because the natural force of life is moving you. The one that lift me up when the plane crashed with my wife and daughter on board. The one that kept me alive when I was diagnosed with three or four months to live only. God, give you a human being to take care of and it is yourself. It is yourself that you must set free and happy. Then you can share the true life with others. Remember Jesus said, 
you shall love your neighbor as yourself. So reconnect with you. Stand in front of the mirror and think that the creature that you're seeing is a God's work. And decide to be happy now because the happiness is an acquisition. You get it and it doesn't come from outside. Happiness is not a right but a duty because if you're not happy, you're embittering all the neighborhood. Everybody around you. There are so many things to enjoy. And our passage, passage through earth and land is so short that suffering is a waste of time. We have to enjoy the winter snow, the flowers of spring, the perusa, chocolate, the French baguette, the Mexican tacos, the Chilean wine, Ukrainian boards, seas, rivers, Brazilian football, poetry of Whitman, Mallet. Miller, Mozart, Chopin, Beethoven, Corbalio, Velasquez, Picasso, Debussy, among so many other marbles. But if you have AIDS or cancer, two things can happen, and both are good. If, you, if it wins, it frees you from the body. You know, I'm hungry, I'm cold, I'm sleepy, I'm right, you're wrong, doubtful. If you win, you will be more humble and grateful. Therefore, be silly happy. Free from the tremendous burden of guilt, responsibility, vanity. Ready to live every moment deeply. You're not depressed. You're just distracted. Help the kid who needs you. One day, that kid will be your son's partner. Help the old man. And the young will help you when you're old. Service is surely happiness like enjoying nature and take care of it for the others who will come in the future and give without measurements and you will receive without measurements love until you become the beloved more than that love until you become love itself and please don't get confused by a few homicides and suicidals out there the good is most, but you do not notice it because it is silent. A bomb makes more noise than it cares. But for every bomb that is destroying out there, there are millions of caresses who feeding life. And goodness fits itself by itself, and evilness destroys itself by itself. If the bad people knew how good business it would be to be good, they would be good, at least for business. Remember, you are not depressed. You are distracted. If you would listen to him, the one that's inside of you, you would know everything. You would find something for yourself in everything. And that would lift you up constantly. There would be no confusion. And in that serenity, you would not look for anything because you would already found everything. And being in the present moment, you would do and say what you have to say in each moment naturally and effortlessly, getting plenitude in relationships with others, growing in love. You would be more creative limitless and conditionless just remember that ignorance keep us feel locked in in mortals we locked ourselves in and limit ourselves and fear distract us from love which is wise and brave because it knows there are no boundaries there are no limits you're just distracted from the wonders of life around you you're not depressed for something that happened. The thing is that you're not paying attention to everything. Everything which is right now, here, in this moment.